All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I am Saturday morning and or Saturday almost afternoon, and I'm doing an oil change on the Skag. Um, I'm gonna do a review on the Skag probably this weekend because we just hit 525 hours, and um, I meant to do it at 500, but just overwhelmed, busy, 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 busy. So anyways, I'm changing the oil, and I know I made a video about this one time before, like a little oil change tip. Sorry about the glare and stuff. Um, so, uh, down there is the oil filter, and you can't get to it from the back side, so you have to go this way. And what I have found that works out really well, I already have the dipstick knob off, obviously, or anyway, cap, um, is I take this one 10 mil, it's a 10 millimeter bolt, take it out, and then I pull the dipstick tube up out of the engine. Now, you have to be careful because I know there's an O-ring down there, and, you know, I'm taking a risk of messing that O-ring up, taking it on and off, but when you take this out of the way, you can get to the filter so much easier. And then I know um, some other people have complained about the oily mess that it makes and stuff. So, you know, I always get a rag all the way down up underneath there as best I can. Even cover this little wire and harness right there. Cover that. And uh, and it really, really, really minimizes the, um, the mess. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to take this uh, dipstick tube out so you can see how relatively easy it is to take, uh, take out. And I always sit there when guys are doing these like things and they're like, oh, I'm trying to do it one handed. I'm like, come on, man, just get it. But now I, now I can understand. It's uh, easier said than done, is what they always say. So, anyways, there we go. Obviously, you want to put this screw someplace that's not going to get lost. There's this bolt. So you can kind of see what it looks like. It's got like a little shoulder on it and stuff. I'm just going to set it right here on top of my battery. And then so now I'm going to reach down here. And it's real easy. Kind of pull straight up. And the dipstick comes out. Now there's an O-ring on the end. At least there appears to be. And now look at You got that all opened up to, uh, um, to get to that filter and stuff. And I'm not going to show changing the filter and whatnot. But just... Thought I'd throw that out there. It um, comes in really handy, really handy. So I'll set this over here for now, and uh, just makes it way more accessible. So, anyways, just a little tip for you guys. All right, good luck out there.